All right. Hey, everyone. <clears throat> I've been told that's a little disorienting that the um, thumbnail does not show anything that is actually in the video. So I am including the picture of the, well, the thumbnail picture, which is um, Permit Patty the jerk that um, called the a little girl selling water in San Francisco. So here's Permit Patty, which is the person from last week, or last week, last night. Um, today, I am sketching and painting um, Mr. Brian, They're Not Our Kids, Kilmeade, who is a Fox New, uh, News host, or faux news house uh, host, as I like to call them. Um, and he just, he says a lot of stupid crap. If you ever look up this guy, he like said something about like, why aren't we clearing the oceans of sharks so people are safe when they swim? Because, yeah, that's that's ec ecologically sound there, Mr. Kilmeade. Um, he also seems to be like a raging racist and upholder of the patriarchy. So I figured a bad portrait um, would be... Um, something that he deserves. Fortunately, there are lots of really horrible pictures of him online. He makes a lot of stupid faces on the internet or on, on air, so it's super easy to find a bad pic of him to, um, to parody. Lots of bad pictures. And I had one picked out, but um, it disappeared. That one's just... that. Wow. He has the smarmiest smile, too. He just, like, ha he smiles and looks like an idiot. Um, so he's a pretty easy um, racist doofus to make look stupider than he already is. So, um, and I'm happy to do so. Uh, and the picture that I had picked out is gone. There's a good smarmy picture of him. Um, so uh, today, I, uh, I people people asked me to identify the tools that I'm using in the video. So this is a Tombow Mono 2B. I enjoy sketching with 2B pencils. So it's a Tombow Mono 2B. Nice. It's a nice smooth, silky smooth pencil. Um, oh, and someone asked what I was using as paper. Um, I am using the B B paper, uh, the Chromo Sketch, which I picked up in Portland, Maine at the Art Mart downtown Portland. Um, it is great paper for ink and pencil. It's not so great for watercolors. You'll notice that the paper gets all cockly and wrinkled. So um, anyway... That's what I'm using for right now, and then I'll identify some of the paints that I'm using too. Although the, uh, I'll get to that later once I finish doing this sketch. Um, <clears throat> so if anyone has any questions or anything, I can see the chat. Um, I've got a new setup for my phone, and I can actually see the chat window. So if anyone, like I said, if anyone has any questions, there should be a live chat where you can uh, type questions or comments or maybe telling me that you hate me. Um, so, which seems to be, well, that's not happening in the comments, but people are definitely giving my videos a thumbs down, um, which is their right, I suppose. Um, but, um, you know, some people don't like my politics. And I don't, I don't really see a lot of this um, stuff that I'm doing right now as political. I see it more as um, separating children from their parents is wrong. Um, you know, so long as their parents are, are good people and whatnot. Um, and seeking asylum is not something that anyone should be arrested or detained for because um, unless you're Native American, you're in, you're the product of immigration. Um, so, anyway. Let me continue drawing this butthole. And uh, someone... Actually, I've gotten a couple of uh, comments saying that I should focus on on um, drawing things that are more positive or things that make me happy. And honestly, um, 
drawing these people badly or honestly in a way that's really honest um, and not making them look good or using um, AP photos or photos as um, my source material where they don't have as much makeup on or they don't look as good as they do on camera really does bring me a lot of joy. Um, so, you know, I don't know what that says about me that I enjoy making these people look more terrible than they already are. But, um, you know, there's something to be said for evil and hate making you look terrible. So... And my wife might be coming home at some point. Um, and when she does, everyone watching will know because uh, the door will slam. There will be a ton of noise. My dogs will probably go a little crazy because my dogs are insane. Um, and they are tiny little dogs who feel they must protect us from everything and anything. So I apologize that all you're getting to hear is me yapping <clears throat> instead of music, but YouTube will not. And I keep complaining about this. This is like my big gripe with doing live videos is that I can't um, play music in the background. So um, I have posted a couple of times if you want to listen along with what I am listening to as I do these videos. I um, have posted the links to my... Spotify channel or my Spotify playlist called Anger um, a couple of times. So if you really want to listen to what I'm listening to, you can follow that link. It's probably somewhere up on my Twitter or, or the Comfortable Shoes Facebook page. God, this guy's smarmy. <laughs> Thanks, D. I'm so terrible. I'm awful. I'm evil. Um, I, I've also been called a libtard. Um, which I think is kind of my favorite. Um, um, where did that... It disappeared. Why did the chat disappear? I'm so confused. The chat disappeared and I wanted to answer everyone. Oh, there it goes. All right. All messages are visible. Lisa, I'm sort of back. I'm doing my 100 days project, so... Um, after I do a hundred of these, I think I'm at 10 or 11 now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue posting stuff. Um, I have, I didn't realize that I have 6,000 followers, more than 6,000 followers on YouTube. Um, but they took my, um, um, my, they took my monetization away because I don't have enough viewers. So maybe I'll get enough viewers here and there watching my videos to actually get monetized again. Uh, I miss getting YouTube checks every now and then. They they were great for purchasing art supplies, but um, I haven't gotten one in ages because they took that away from me. Thanks, YouTube. Or Google, I should just say. Oh, I've been called a feminazi too, D. Let's see, where's this assholes? I wonder if I have to keep it clean. Maybe I shouldn't be swearing on this. I probably will get docked somehow for calling him an a-hole. God, this guy is smarmy. These weird eyebrows, too.
Should probably ask so many of my musical friends if they'd be willing to let me play their music with you know music credits we went to school with a bunch of music therapists oh here comes my wife yes i think oh, the outside door just opened she's probably looking for her keys so in a minute they'll be crashing banging Oh, I hear her keys. Oh, yep, hear it. Oh, maybe not. She's having trouble with the lock. Maybe I should let her in. Oh, no, there she goes. She's got it. Hey, Chris, I'm recording. Oh, sorry. No, no. I, I prepared everyone. Oh. I let everyone know. Oh, let's see. Uh, he is. <laughs> for me making noise. What the? I I let everyone know that you were gonna make noise when you came in. <laughs> I don't think it's a government D. I think it's I think it's really just uh, um, Google profiting off of my work because they own the platform and I don't. But there's really no better way to um, put videos out there for multiple people to view. Well, you can do locked, locked videos online, but... <clears throat> he does have a punchable face, doesn't he, D? has a very tight face too. You know what I mean? Like Botoxed. I don't know, I'm getting into uh, territory that if a, he was a woman it would be considered misogynistic. This guy's just a jerk. Let's just leave it at that. It's evil and a jerk. Oh, you got a new keyboard. <laughs> Do you like it? It's floppy. It's very weird. It's supposed to be spell proof. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> That's why I bought it. I figured as much. Um, for anyone who's wondering, I'm using the, um, I don't know, can you see that? The Tombow Mono Air Touch uh, little eraser in a plastic case. You can buy um, new erasers uh, at Jet Pens. Um, I particularly like this eraser. It's very nice. It does a good good job erasing, too. Nice and clean.
Um, so I'm using a fan brush for the only thing it's really useful for, and that is cleaning eraser shavings and crumbs off my page. All right, I don't, um, I don't know what kind of yellow paint I have in here. Um, I have an old um, mint tin watercolor made, and uh, part of the <clears throat> part of what I'm trying to do with this project is um, use up all of my old sets that I haven't used in a long time, so. All of those, I've got a bunch of little mint tin watercolor sets that I haven't used in a really long time um, with really nice paint in them, actually. So, I'm going to use those up. Why are all these, like, dudes all, like, orange and pink? I'm just going to assume it's studio lighting. Because it's weird. I don't know any people that have that kind of coloration in real life. Yeah, that eraser is great, D. The every time I look up, <laughs> no, Lisa, they don't have any humanity. Um, D, yeah, this is um, it's my everyday carry um, eraser. I, um, you can see, I put a little piece of uh, paracord to hold the cap because I would have lost that cap a long time ago. I'm surprised that Dude Bro hasn't, like, well, actually, the reason why they're um, so orange and yellow, yeah, or orange and pink. I can't wait to see uh, some of the comments that I'm going to end up with on these videos, because you know... I'm going to get some MRA guys telling me I'm wrong somewhere along the line. It's got to happen. You know it's going to happen. Why do you paint them so that they're all pink and orange? Because they're evil.
Oh yeah, I mentioned that I would <clears throat> tell you about the other paints. So um, this is a, um, I believe it's a Japanese. Yeah, this is a Japanese palette that I picked up at um, Artists and Craftsmen. Um, it's got really shallow wells, which makes it really nice for plain air painting. Um, <clears throat> and I have no idea what paints I have in it. I mean, I've got some earth stuff over here. I've got repeated colors of blue and um, indigo and, um, yeah, stuff I have no idea what it is. Um, some reds and pinks I don't remember, um, which is why I'm trying to use them all up because I don't know what's in the palette. So if I don't know what's in the palette, I, it's hard to figure out what the heck to do with it. <clears throat> Oh, and as for brushes, in case anyone's wondering, I'm um, <clears throat> I block everything in with a um, one half inch um, Princeton snap. Um, this is the stroke. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think it's focusing well. Um, and then I use a variety of um, Princeton snaps in round. Uh, the largest I have is a twenty. I do most of my work with the 10 because these are just loose little sketchy paintings and not anything I'm trying to do a lot of detail with <coughs> so I'm not I'm not doing uh, f the finest of fine art here this is mostly me processing all the crap that I see um, in the media because it's hard to see all this garbage and be bombarded with it day in and day out and try and figure out what what do you do how do you how do you can't even comprehend the level of absurdity of these people and this is how I do it I do it through art because art makes sense to me even when the uh, people like Brian Kilmeade make no sense at all to me. This guy makes absolutely no sense to me. He's ridiculous. He's a caricature of a human being. Um, and, you know, awful. The most awfulness of white people. That's what he represents. They're not our kids. They are our kids, you jerk. They are.
<clears throat> Let's see. One of the things that I really like about these Princeton snap brushes is if you'll notice what a good point this holds <clears throat> for such a, I mean, it's a $5 brush, but it really does, you know, snap to a good point. Um, it's just really great as inexpensive brushes go. I think this color is indigo. Could be wrong. Could be a Payne's gray. 
pretty sure it's an indigo though. I'm a big fan of indigo um, watercolor. It's just a really nice shade of blue. And of course, they all get a nice green background because the green is for money that they've sold out for. Let's see, I gotta give him, and of course, like it's seemingly all of the other jerks I've painted recently, he's got blue eyes. Not that that's saying anything about people with blue eyes, but uh, um, has anyone noticed that everyone that all the evil people I've painted are uh, white? We as a whole just need to do better, I think. Stop being so egocentric and hateful, ignorant jerks when it comes to this stuff. Alright, let me see if there's anything else in the chat I've got to answer. Um... Oh, Christy, I think Dee said hey. Hi. No, Dee, Christy's saying hey back. No, I said hi, not hey. Oh, hi. Hi. I can't hear anything. I've got headphones on. Um, so, um, this is uh, 
Mr. Brian, they're not our kids, Kilmead, um, a Fox faux news uh, host. Um, he looks suitably evil there. Um, a little overly zealous with some of the color there, but I think that's part of what this does. Well, let's try this. Let's do this. <sighs> Blow some of that schmeary color around. <sighs> and that's it's not going to go. I think Christy's talking to the dogs. Chris, I fed them already. What? I fed them already. Anyway, Brian Kilmead, today's 100 Days of Dickhead, my 100 Days project. Um, and he's looking suitably evil. Not that I really had to do a whole heck of a lot of work since, you know, he not our kids kind of guy. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you should do so. I think there is a subscribe button somewhere down on the bottom under underneath the video um, you should subscribe um if you haven't been to ko-fi.com harper you can do that and buy me a cup of coffee and that money will go towards me purchasing more art supplies because i'm i'm hooked on that and possibly maybe just me drinking more coffee too because i'll always drink more coffee so if you like what i'm doing head on over to coffee.com um and uh pitch in and support my art habit and tomorrow maybe if i get out of work early enough i will be doing another um hundred days project hundred days of dickheads i'm not sure who i'm going to do i haven't i haven't done any social media since i got home from work so tomorrow is wide open you can um make a suggestion in the comments either here on youtube or uh, over on Facebook, or you can hit me up on Twitter. It's at Original LC Harper on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, where else am I? Oh, yeah. Comfortable Shoes Studio, not Stud, over on Facebook. So, yeah, you, you if you want to request a dickhead, I'm open to requests because there's always more dickheads available. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.